Hello and welcome to the Power Up Show, the home of all things swim, bike and run. Coming to you live from London, the home of Super League Triathlon. I'm Dave Rogers. And I'm Rhea Hubble. And coming up tonight, we'll be chatting live to Tommy and Katie Zafirez on the west coast of America. We'll be talking about these things. Yes, we will. <laughs> uh, and we are joined by Fraser Clifford from the Triathlon Show London. And of course, there he is. Welcome, <laughs> Fraser. And of course, we'll be finding out where in the world is Macca. That is all coming up tonight on the Power Up Show. That's right. And here at Super League, we want to, you to talk to us. Yeah. Send us a message live on Facebook. Maybe you've got some questions for Tommy and Katie today. Or you can tweet us and send us a message on Instagram using the hashtag SLTPowerUp. And all the details should be on screen now. Yes, certainly they will. Um, we've got a very special guest this evening, Fraser Clifford. Welcome. Hi. Hey. How, How are you doing? Mate? You were just getting carried away in the magic of television Absolutely. there, weren't you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all very uncommon to me. So. Uh, well, we are very much looking forward to you, uh, to catching up with you about uh, the triathlon show London. Uh, your first plug of many tonight. What is great about your show? Um, everything. <laughs> it, all things swim, bike and run. Come down and, and try a kit on, a bike it and go away with smiles on your face. That sounds great. Uh, oh, I love that. Well, we are going to have the chance to catch up with Fraser, uh, well, throughout the evening. If you've got any questions about the show, then do get in touch. But in the meantime, let's take a little look at what his show, The Triathlon Show London, is all about. Just a little glimpse into the magic of the triathlon show London. Um, but before we get to that magic event that we're all yes. looking forward to, we are counting down to Valentine's Day. Big day coming up. Uh, yes. You got any plans? I have a feeling I'm going to be spending a very romantic day at the pool because my other half and I have an imminent big triathlon coming up. No heavy petting. No, That's... definitely not <laughs> behaving ourselves. What about you? Uh, I will also be in a swimming pool. <laughs> um, so, also, no heavy petting. Different pool to you, though, I hope. <laughs> yeah. uh, but yes, I'll be, I'll be commentating on some swimming, so not traditionally the most romantic of no, settings. Indeed. Fraser, Valentine's Day plans? Working on the bike show. It's my life. <laughs> oh. How very romantic. Uh, a, a lovely evening with my wife and kids. Oh, he comes up with a big answer at the right yeah. time, doesn't he? Maybe a swim. Maybe a swim. <laughs> just, to, just to say <laughs> to on round trend. It up. <laughs> uh, well, if you've got any plans uh, for Valentine's Day, then lucky you. Unfortunately for us, it will be business as usual. But Super League Triathlon has many, many, uh, well, brilliant people, but some couples too. Tommy and Katie Zafira is being one of them. And we're going to be joining them live in the west coast of the United States. Uh, they are integral to everything to do with Super League Triathlon, whether it's Katie's success around the world or whether it's Tommy's brilliant photographs. Uh, they really are a massive part of everything SLT. So before they join us from the other side of the world, let's take a look at some of Katie's best bits from the most recent Super League Triathlon. Katie Zafira is the inaugural winner of the Super League Triathlon Women's triple mix, and she's done it. And Zafiris for the round winner for 20,000 US dollars. There's absolutely nothing in it. Katie Zafiris and Cassandra Bogrand, the present and the future of triathlon. Who's going to take it? I think Bogrand. it's going to be Bogrand. Bogrand. She's won the round. Some of the best bits there from our pink jersey holder, but now is where I cross everything, hope the technology is going to work, point at this screen and say, Katie and Tommy Zafiris, hello. How, how are you? Yay! Yes! Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yes! yes. Oh, Yay. Fantastic news. Um, how are you both? 
Yeah, we're great. We just finished the swim this morning, hard swim. So now uh, just chilling with you guys until we have a bike and a track workout later. So you both swam together? Yes. Who won? <laughs> We've actually changed our training strategy for this year. So we're trying something new where I swim hard on the easy days. And then my easy days, I pace Katie because uh, she doesn't like swimming with me because I'll swim too fast. And so then on the easy days, we do our separate things. And then on the hard days... I, yeah, so, so it's been working out really well. So what you're saying that's is, true. Tommy, you won. That's <laughs> nicely said. Today I won. <laughs> <laughs> How, you're giving us a little bit of insight into your winter training schedule at the moment. What else are you guys doing? Any sort of secret sauce that you're working on over the winter? No secret sauce. Uh, mainly just the same consistent things that we've been doing for the past uh, four years, basically. <laughs> um, building building a little bit on it. And uh, now we've, we had been doing a lot of volume and now the races are starting to come up. So it's becoming a bit more race specific with, with our first brick workout this week and um, just dialing, dialing in a bit. And you've given us a bit of an insight there. You spend a lot of time working together, training together. What's it like being a couple in the sport? <laughs> we, it's very challenging. Um, we actually just did the math uh, with a friend to what's the average amount of time a married couple spends together and how much time we spend together. So even though we've been married for five years, technically we've been married for 15 years based on how much time we spend together. So no we're three times <laughs> But that being said, it's challenging, but it's it's also super rewarding, and I know it's really like really special. The fact that I have Tommy to train with, I have someone who's going to help me solely for myself and be really individualized in um, what what he does during the workout, so that I can be the best that I can be without overreaching too much, but um, just really dialed for me. Well, rewarding indeed, because Sports Illustrated just named you in their top 50 <laughs> fittest people. I think you came in at 23, didn't you? I think so, yeah. Pretty How good number, I thought. I was excited to make the list. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, though, do you, obviously that's, that's an incredible achievement, and, and Sports Illustrated is known and respected worldwide. But have you looked at that list and the 22 above you and thought, actually, I think uh, I'm a little bit fitter than those guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, Tommy, obviously you're becoming quite renowned for interest outside of swim, bike and run, and I think all the SLT fans know you as an incredible photographer and some of the incredible images that we see as part of SLT have come from your lens. Um, in fact, we've got one up on the screen right now. Uh, tell wow. us about that. How did, how did that all start? And it was, was it triathlon that got you into the love of photography or, or where did it all begin? So the short story is both my parents were wedding and portrait photographers. So I grew up around photography, but because they did it, I didn't want to have anything to do with it. So it wasn't until... Uh, <laughs> Christmas in 2015 and Katie got me my first like starter camera and um, at that point I had just stepped away from racing. Um, I had an accident in 2014 where um, I almost died basically and then uh, nobody really wanted me racing again. <laughs> so um, I switched to doing more media stuff um, and so then yeah I just picked up a camera and obviously had the background from my parents and went from there. Yeah, you certainly have an eye for it, don't you? <laughs> what do you prefer now, triathlon or photography? Honest answer. Yeah, photography for sure. Really? Like, it's way less stressful. <laughs> God, crikey noses. All right then, um, the two of you there, you've got smiles on your face. Great to see you uh, in a good place. But what are you doing Valentine's Day? Is it training or are you taking the day off? Training, but also I'm getting a solo massage. <laughs> <laughs> So is it from romantic. you, Tommy, or no? <laughs> <laughs> we're we're actually celebrating Valentine's Day on the thirteenth because I thought it would be a good strategy because you wouldn't need a reservation as much and the prices would be cheaper. So I was I was doing Valentine's Day strategy strategizing. And really quick funny story. Uh, I was supposed to go surfing the other day and Katie came home and, and I ended up canceling and so I was still there and she walks in the door, she's like, Oh man <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's how much time 
Amazing stuff. Uh, guys, we're going to leave you go now. Oh, actually, before we do, is there anything we can sort of uh, keep an eye out for you? We're really looking forward to you, um, to you racing again this year, Katie, and, and you being on site with the photography, Tommy. Is there anything else that we can, can look forward to uh, the Zafir as is in and around this year? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just the all the racing and Tommy's... Tommy signed up for his first race of the year, too, so <laughs> you can look out for that. <laughs> in, all, in all seriousness, Tommy, you literally said no more than a couple of minutes ago that you I nearly died. died racing, and now you're back racing again. It's, come on, man. <laughs> I only raced the small races. <laughs> Well, we wish you all the very best with that. And thank you so much for joining us. And we really, really look forward to seeing you again, too. What a couple of legends. Yeah, legends. We look forward to seeing you race this season, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. There's a few, is it? I, I know. love those guys. Legends. Um, you're, you're, um, you're a bike rider and yes. you've got a wife. Okay. Could you imagine just training with her, going out with her all the time and being that happy? It's... It, it's absolutely staggering. My, my wife and I have a policy. The only um, sport we do together is, is wall climbing. Oh, because nice. either she's at the top or I'm at the top. So you spend a little time uh, actually bickering. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. This well, is the secret. Uh, I will, I, I'll have to learn from your wise, wise ways. Uh, right then, we know that 2020 is a huge year for the sport. We've got another full schedule uh, with Super League Triathlon. But a massive part of it is qualification. We've got the championship events, we've got the qualification events. Raya, talk to me about qualification. Yeah, that's right. Well, we've got a qualifying series which enables our up-and-coming athletes to be able to win a golden ticket for our athletes to hopefully win a qualification in the championship series. Um, and we can see here the races that we've got coming up. There are four different event formats that we will see over the span of this series. And let's hope that we see the next generation of athletes coming through. We've got the likes of Chris Perham, who's qualified Olivia Matias. We've got Sofia Dodet, Anthony um, Pujad. Mm -hmm. And they've all come through the qualification series, which is the road to Super League series. Um, so it's a really exciting time to see the new up and coming talent race the world's best. And you say golden ticket yeah. is literally that, isn't it? There are so many athletes who feel as though they have got the quality to mix it with the best. Yeah. And the golden ticket system allows them to do that. If you are fast enough, you are good enough. Yeah. And we might just see you at Super League Triathlon, the championship series in 2020. Speaking of which, we have a massive announcement. We've seen up here, we've got Bali, Poznan, Salinas, Ottawa and Tempe in terms of the qualification events. But we have confirmed that we are going back to one of our favourite places in 2020. And my favourite... I haven't really got a favourite, but he's up there. <laughs> Ollie Turner um, is very pleased about it too. Let's hear what he had to say. I just received the good news about um, RBC Super League jersey returning for 2020. Um, obviously, very excited about this. Um, not just for me as a, an athlete, but the, also the uh, community in Jersey, uh, the local club and um, like schools and just people that are generally interested in getting into... Uh, sport i think uh, it also has a good impact on the tourism uh, and yeah i'm just really excited for the event to be back in jersey um you've seen over the last three years like an increase in club memberships and triathlon and probably i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure across other sports as well it's been like a bit of a catalyst for people to get involved with sport so uh yeah thank you very much for coming back again Oh, he's so excited. Yeah, I thought you were going to say he's so cute. He is also so cute, but I didn't want to say that in case he heard and got upset by that. So thank you very much. <laughs> Great to have you on board, Ollie, and uh, great to be back to Jersey as well. It is a fantastic event, so if you're a fan, get a ticket. If you're an athlete, try and qualify, and we will see you in Jersey a little bit later in the year. Let's talk your show then, Fraser. Uh, we mentioned it at the very top, but start from, well, the top again. Uh, it's coming up. What can we expect? Well, it's, it, we open on the 27th of March. Uh, it's a three-day show, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, lots of really fun and engaging things to do. Um, what we like to do is, is make it an experience rather than just come to a show and look at some product and, and talk mm -hmm. to some people. So we do have a lot of athletes there talking about training, 
uh, nutrition, um, yeah, some, just some really engaging um, products and, and people to talk to. You know, stuff that you can't do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you can't get this sort of stuff at the coffee shop or on the training ride. <laughs> no, indeed. And you talk about some really exciting stuff coming up. What are some of the highlights from last year's show? Oh, from last year's show, we were really so fortunate to get the Brownleys open. They were, they were with us for the full day on the Friday. Um, they're just such lovely guys. They, they spent the whole day there just in getting engaged with the, with the communities of triathlon and bike. Um, we had some, we, we trialled some outdoor swimming in the dock. It was 12 to 13 degrees. <laughs> Too cold for me. Ooh, so we're going we're no. to stick to the swim spas inside. So we've got three swim spas where people can, you know, test kit again. I keep mentioning that you can try stuff. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, we're generally really, really excited about what's happening over, like, leading up to the show, because there's even stuff that we don't know about yet that's going to happen, so check the website and, and see what's happening. But who's it for? Who'd have a good day there? It's not just for the die-hard performance-led uh, individuals, it's a good family day out, um, the, the tickets are competitively priced for families, kids under 16 come free of charge, so at the weekends it's, it is a nice place to bring the family, especially if you're a little bit selfish and you want to go and look at some kids, oh kids, come on, it's a great day out, we're going to uh, look at some, uh, some carbon bikes and some new wetsuits. Um, so it's, it's, uh, there's a bit of something for everyone. Uh, it, we, we've got the triathlon show, which is partnered with the bike show. So there's kids' bikes there, there's commute bikes, and then you can walk across the aisle and see the you know, latest tech from, from triathlon, um, suits, you know, aero, all the exciting stuff that I like. Uh, <laughs> It's like a little bit for, uh, for everyone, really, exactly, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah, well, exactly. I mean, we don't just want people dipping in for an hour. We want to try and make it uh, an experience that's going to get you to keep you there for five, six hours. It's also quite a massive spectacle, isn't it? How big was it? You told me earlier. We've got, the footprint is 17,000 square metres. <laughs> huge. But all of that is full, and, and there are all kinds of activities. It, it's not just a case of turning up and seeing some stalls. There's a stage with activations Absolutely. going on yeah. and, and essentially it is an opportunity for all these people who come whether they're brands or experiences totally. to really showcase yeah showcase sell themselves and, and they do that don't they it's almost like a carnival it's, uh, it's yeah it is a spectacle you know there's so much you can see and do online now um, we're trying to have that FaceTime that real experience where you can touch and feel stuff you know you try nutrition actually put a wetsuit on try uh, running shoes we have um, we have run systems that are brought to us from Mizuno where you can check out how your run style is and see which pair of shoes actually suits you better than another, um, which hopefully leads to quicker times and PBs, which we all want. Um, yeah, so it's just fun. I went to the show last year. And my my favourite thing is the amount of nutrition companies that just have <laughs> carb sugar <laughs> available yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. For, for you to eat. And I think I leave the show climbing up the walls because I've tried everything imaginable. So that's perfect. my favourite part about perfect, this perfect, show. Perfect. Well, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it, you're, you're, as long as you're not tapering into an event, you're fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And what's super exciting from my perspective is we are going to be there doing a live power-up show. Yeah. Uh, that was the announcement. I'm not sure whether or not that was meant to be a bit more of a secret build-up than that. But we are going to be doing a live power-up show on the 28th. I'm going to be there in person. Hopefully we'll get some special guests as well. But you are going to be in a secret location. I believe I am. I'll be joining you just from video feed from said destination. Well, we spoke to uh, Katie and Tommy earlier, so we know that works. So that is, <laughs> that is super exciting. Cool. But there's that stage area where we're going to be live. There's going to be lots of things going on oh, there. Totally. Um, let's give it the hard sell then. Look yeah. down that camera and tell people where they can buy tickets, how they can buy tickets and why they should come. Website, of course, um, which is Triathlon London Show. Um, check it out. Um, we're, we're really well priced at £16 a ticket. As I said, there's family deals. If you look on Instagram at the moment, you may well get a cheeky offer. Wow, so nice. just have a look around and you probably could get yourself a nice deal just running up to maybe Valentine's special. You never know, so keep them peeled. And also you can come and uh, say, say hello to me because I'll be looking to make friends there too. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. It's a shame you can't be there, but when we dial in, I'll give you a tour on my phone. Yeah, no. <laughs> I know you would too. Part of the ship, <laughs> part of the crew. Uh, well, over the last couple of weeks, this is our third Power Up show now. I've really enjoyed taking a look at Super League Social. And once again, we've got lots of special treats for you uh, in the world of Tri. What are we going to start with here? Let's get some pictures <coughs> up 
for uh, what we've seen on... Ah, yes! Yeah. The infamous vapour flies. <coughs> now, I've been out of the country and I have missed all kinds of kerfuffle with these. There has indeed been some kerfuffle, hasn't but, there? But I understand that, uh, that, well, are they a little bit naughty? Is that...? I don't know if it's fair to say they've been a little bit naughty, but they have had, excuse me, <coughs> a product available which they've provided athletes but not been available for general sale. Mm -hmm which has given those um, uh, athletes a potential bigger advantage. Um, I will leave you dying quiet. Can we get, <laughs> can we get Ray some water, please? Because you've had a pair, haven't you? I have, yeah. I was, um, I was intrigued by the technology of it. I do love technology, you know, whether it's carbon bikes, aero stuff. And I was fortunate enough to be in a, a Nike store, and it was an outlet store, and there was a, a, a really good price on a pair. And I thought, right, let's see what the fuss is about. And, you know, I'm not... Uh, I'm not a great runner, uh, I like to run, and I was going out, I was getting PBs, I would, I, there was certainly a spring in my step, and so I did notice the difference even at that level, and that was the first generation that they, they bought. So I'd, I'd, I'd love to try what they're, what they're producing now. Yeah, I'd love to try too, so Nike, but, if you're listening. But not compete, obviously. <laughs> no, 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 goodness me, absolute mania. No, thank you very much. Um, OK, so that's the, that's the vapour flies. Let's have a look at what Sophie Coldwell has been up to, because everyone's off on their trips at the moment. She is enjoying the sun in Australia. Looks like she's training hard oh, there. More of this winter training. And then cut to later in the session, though. Serves her right. Yeah. For being out in Australia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Is there anything worse than when the weather turns on you like that? Well, yeah, if you live in the UK, although Australia, I would hope, with the weather was at least fine. So even though she's turned her track session into a swim session, <laughs> at least it was warm while she was doing it. Have you ever had anything turn on you like that? When you're out on the bike? Uh, yes, yeah. And there was a, a biblical day out. We were following the Tour de France mm -hmm. and we all went out. It was hot sunshine and, you know, we were out on a 100-mile ride. And, yeah, I think 30 miles in, the, the weather just changed and, you know, Storm Clara came to visit. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Nightmare. Yeah, it was horrible. But, so yeah. Sophie's just about dried off now. Uh, we're going to be finding out where on earth Macca is at the moment, but on last week's show, we saw that he was in yeah, Rwanda. And take is. a look at this. I love that he's not only referenced Diane Fossey, but really embraced that whole Sig Sigourney Weaver gorillas in the mist. <laughs> Um, because it's an amazing experience. I, I've been lucky enough to do it, otherwise I'd be so jealous of looking at this picture right now. Uh, and for those of you who are regulars with Super League Triathlon, that is actually a gorilla, <laughs> and that is not the regular announcer, MG. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yes, Maka has been on another adventure, and that must be what an experience. Mind so you, blowing. So you've done it. I've done it, and it's really amazing to see um, it's poachers that have turned to trackers. So oh, you wow. go uh, hiking into the mountains, and they are tracking and finding the gorillas for you, and then you get to experience them face to face. It's it's incredible. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been anywhere like that? Uh, I was lucky enough to do a Masai Mara safari with the family, yeah. and it was life-changing, really was. Um, yeah, really great experience. Yeah. So what I'm finding out here is I very much need to get out more. <laughs> I yeah, think time it's... to travel, buddy. <laughs> time to travel. <laughs> I, I had a lovely time uh, in Jersey and Malta last year, Super League Triathlon, but if you could send me to Rwanda, <laughs> that'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, speaking of Maka, uh, he is quite the adventurer. He doesn't seem to be anywhere in the world for more than what 48 hours maximum so we always like to get a little update just to check in to make sure he's safe and sound so it is time to find out wtf where on earth naughty is mac <laughs> <laughs> Well, good morning, guys. Uh, WTF is Macca, and I am back in Sydney. This is actually where I grew up in uh, my home in Sydney. So from Rwanda two weeks ago, flying through Singapore and landed in Sydney. That national park in the background was all threatened by the bushfires. I'm sure a lot of people followed the, the horrific fires that are happening here over in Sydney, and that was uh, all read up to go. It's, uh, it's the biggest national park, one of the main training centres for everybody who runs, cycles, and, and, and does triathlon in southern Sydney. This is the home of myself, Craig Alexander, uh, the great Emma Carney really lived here, Peter Robinson, three-time ITU world champion. If you come from Sydney, the southern end of Sydney is where all the superstar endurance athletes come from predominantly because of that national park it's remarkable this is the port hacking river and uh, a beautiful part of the world but it's good to be home i've got a 
this hat on, I won't even say it. It's a Phoenix hat, so look for, I remember I mentioned in the first where WTF Macca, the new partnerships for Vincent Louis and Katie Zafaris and these athletes. It's all with this company here, Phoenix, who, who came through triathlon through our Super League events in Jersey and are uh, doing some amazing things with kids in, in the foundation space. Uh, Phoenix is to, to rise up and to, to reinvent yourself and these superstar athletes that are part of the Phoenix squad um, will be showcasing a lot of their talents over the next two to three years. So uh, it's good to be back home. I grew up here, spent all my life here. I'm here to see my, my father and, and my brothers and catch up with family before heading back to Singapore. So have a good time in chilly London. Ciao. Chilly London, Macca, you have got absolutely no idea, mate, but glad you're having the chance uh, to catch up with family and friends at home. Hopefully, uh, we'll get you in London before too long. Always. I know. I think he spends... And it's the heat as well. Always somewhere beautiful and warm. I think he spends more time in the air than he does actually on the ground, but either way, what a life. <laughs> uh, last week, we started the Transition Challenge. Transition, a massive part of triathlon. There's actually a grey jersey for the best transitioner in Super League. What we did find out, that I am not even the best transitioner in this room, <laughs> let alone in Super League triathlon. I had a hideous time. Uh, alas, that means that I will be the bottom of the pile and it will make all of our guests feel a lot better when they give it a go. And I think me too at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a go at it. I did. Shall we take it? Oh, before we take a look, how do you reckon you got on? I, it was relatively smooth. It was so smooth. And, you know, Annoying. Bringing the Vaseline and, the, <laughs> and, my own, and my own shoes worked really well. Uh, right, give us an update. There are only three names on the board. But, Raya, who's top at the moment? Oh, I am, but I just feel like that's not going to last. OK, no. well, we've got the pedal in Picasso in second place. Some legend called Dave currently in third. Um, out of the three there, where would you place yourself before you know your score? Uh, I... He's confident. I'm confident. He's confident. I'm confident. I, confident. I, I, watched la I watched the last... Um... Mine is so terrible that even the lights <laughs> want to blank me off the leaderboard. Oh, my God. Shall we have a look yeah, at how let's you did? Let's, let's see do. how we did. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fraser, have you got any questions for our professional triathlon coach before we get underway? Uh, like maybe how the helmet does it. <laughs> no, I think I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good with bike helmets. I'm good with bike helmets. Yeah, it should be all right. Right. So we'll count you down to three, and then we'll start the clock. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Start the clock. Okay. So he starts with his swim cap. Oh, gets done quite very thorough, quickly. Isn't very it? thorough. Goggles are on. Yeah. Okay. Take them off. Very oh. good. Let's move on to your sunglasses and. Goggle, glasses. Helmet. <laughs> he is incredibly yes. funny. Mate, don't wait Let's for go. us. You yeah, keep on. going, keep going. Hat and shoes. Hat on first, interesting. Oh, and he is done. Stop the clock. Oh, it was smooth. <laughs> it was smooth. It was smooth. I feel like he might could've have had quicker. some research. I mean, I could've it could have been, been quicker. quicker. Yeah. I could have been quicker. I'm going to do it again. I've got the Bring result. Bring me back at the end of, end of the year. <laughs> well, that's, that's what we're all saying. I bought all the stuff so I could just do it at home. <laughs> well, what do you think I was doing last night? <laughs> um, I have got your result here. OK. Give us a drum roll, please. You completed the challenge in 20. <gasps> 5.89 oh. seconds. He is top of the leaderboard. Will you do the honours, well, please? Well, that right? was long lasted. Being at the top, wasn't it? Oh, you're yes. already being pushed down the leaderboard. I know. I have a feeling that's going to long continue. How does well it feel to be a champion? Well done, Fraser. Uh, well, I don't, think, I don't think it will last particularly long. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy it now. Maybe, enjoy at the it triathlon, it maybe at the Triathlon Show London, we will set it up I'll on the a, stage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll, yeah definitely. I'll, uh, I'll have another crack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll go until you're at the top forever. No, That's, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. My show, my rules. <laughs> That's what he's going I for. I do love the competitive nature in you. Even yes. as soon as you finished, you knew it was smooth, and you went, I could have gone faster. And I, I was like, tell me about it. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> That, unfortunately, is all we have time for on the, uh, the Power Up Show. It's unbelievable. It flies by. Uh, thank you very much to Katie and Tommy Zafiris for their time. Thank you very much, Fraser. Before we sign you off, 
Give us one more plug. We really want people to come. I'll be there. When, mm. where, and how to get tickets? Uh, it's at XL East London. Get tickets on the website. Triathlon Show London, um, 27th, 29th of March. Um, it's an amazing day out. Bring, the fr bring friends, bring family, um, and have a great time. We'll see you there. Yes, yeah, I'm will. excited. Yeah. And we will be back in two weeks' time. Again, it's Tuesday, 25th of April. I hope that is correct. No, not April. April? Oh, my goodness me. February. February, yeah. <laughs> Although we will definitely still be here in April, so don't worry about that. At 25th <laughs> of February, uh, we will see you then. Before we go, message for the fans? Yeah, let's uh, keep it swim, bike, run until then. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>